Going to send them back, and what is this extension? Okay, both of them hanging on. That's the other set of barrels. This is weird gameplay, but it's working. Oh, oh come on, Aaron, how did you not see that? Oh my god, really? <laughs> I'm, okay, look, I know you're gonna watch this part back. I'm gonna pretend like I didn't see that. Okay, anyway, Yusuf, resetting neutral. Hang, a, hanging on the stage control, but obviously you can't hang too much on lead because that monkey flip is gonna kill you at those high percent. Snake hanging on because he is a big boy. And Yusuf just trying to control some space, but Aaron is just not gonna let him get back on stage, which is what we're gonna do in this matchup. We gotta exploit Snake's disadvantage, and I think Aaron's going to extend a little to try and get that done. Going for the ledge trump, not gonna pay off. Maybe opting for the roll read, Yusuf not providing it. I think Sticky might be online. Oh, but now the use of traps are out and the damage is starting to rack up. That's interrupting Serenity's up smash. And now, yeah, right now, although this is a small stage and you think it would be ideal for Diddy, Serenity is struggling a little bit to get those approaches and even out that damage. Up tilt, yeah, that's going to seal it. 120, I believe. Insanity. But yeah, heading to the last start, Yusuf in a very comfortable position with a very sizable lead. And unless Serenity plays perfectly, I can see this just being over outright. Opting for the roll read, but Aaron not going to provide the roll away. Aaron knowing preemptively that Yusuf wanted him to panic, it was always expecting to panic, and choosing a more aggressive option to mix him up. Oh, oh wow, that was... An immediate turnaround. Um, yeah, that was just a good play. I can't say much about that. Spot dodge up tilt is one thing, but parry turnaround in that like short time period. Very good gameplay coming out from Yusuf. Very good pressure, and we'll see if uh, Serenity has what it takes to adapt to that pressure, play around it, move into Yoshi's slightly bigger stage, more opportunities to juggle. But again, you're giving Yusuf more room to put down his trap. We'll see if it pays off. Here we are, Yoshi's story. Let's get it. Grenades are out. I think one thing that's really underrated um, that Snake can do is that he can actually limit your movement options if you have horizontal based combos. So for example, if you're an inkling and you do down throw and air and air cross stage, nades interrupt that. If you're a Steve and you're doing, you know, down throw fair pick loops pretty much, nades can interrupt that. And so I think Yusuf is doing a really good job of kind of limiting the horizontal advantage that um, Aaron can apply in these situations and I, th I feel like a lot of snakes underutilize that and they just kind of like hold me in disadvantage and hope for the best but Yusuf definitely more well practiced and having spoken with him about the character he definitely understands snake on a level that a lot of other snakes don't but the same again could be said for Aaron he definitely is one of the most if you ask me the most uh, movement intensive Diddy in the United uh, Kingdom Dodgers Obviously a very great city as well, the best city right now, but I think that Ara definitely has the edge when it comes to movement in particular. Up throw up air, oh good jump coming out, not going to connect at such a high percent. Great DI but risky air dodge because Ara knows you're out of resources. f tilt not going to connect but still going to be in a rough position, neutral get up, yeah you can't be doing that around Ara. Yes sir, he's going to bring that back and where we are at an even game, the movement is coming out and now he's going to have to find a way to weave around those nades. Nades coming out, pressure's down, nades are up, 
Yeah, Aaron wisely not opting for the grounded um, advantage state there with the grounded strings. Launching him up, seeing, okay, you have Nade behind you. I'm not taking you there. I'm just going to throw you up and get a basic up air. Might not be the most damage, but at least I won't get, you know, hit with the trade. And you got to respect that. Oh, oh my God. Okay. That might fly under the radar, but that was just an amazing weave through that kind of like small gate between the nade, the up smash, and the Zeebo on Aaron there, but his stuff's going to be taken. But still, I think that just goes to show how amazing Aaron's movement can be. Now, okay, heading to our last stop for Aaron, though. He's in a bit of a rough situation, and honestly, I can't see him bringing this back, but he's going to need impeccable movement. But <laughs> it doesn't matter if robbery is in business. And yeah, looks like we are in snake hunting season. Aaron gonna even that out. I did not know chimpanzees be snakes, but here we are. Wall jump. Good idea on the store, but it's not gonna matter if you have that sticky attached to you. Ooh, okay, trying to catch the tech in place. Lots of players do that, myself included. Very risky option for all. Yeah, just maybe not expecting or anticipating that C4. Maybe thinking C4 was somewhere else on the game. Gonna have a step in mind and another game gonna go to Yusuf. But honestly, very close. Very close and uh, not impossible to come back from. So I think that, quite frankly, a reverse to Rio isn't out of the cards, but it's going to take some serious adaptation for um, Aaron to get that done. Sticking on the Diddy and the Snake, obviously. Two soul mains. Two characters that they, uh, well, I, I don't think Aaron made uh, Diddy from the Styles of the character, yeah. But I think Yusuf did main stage from the get-go. And uh, yeah, here we are, getting into game three. Yusuf with a 2-0 lead. Darren on the back foot, taking Yusuf to Yoshi's. Can he bring it back? That is the question. Pressure's coming out once again. The weed, the weed is coming out. Oh, okay, I see. Maybe Aaron was trying to opt for a shield pull from the nade shield pressure, but nade, fortunately, not going to do that much shield damage. Aaron trying to catch a shield release, but not going to pan out. Okay, yeah, Aaron is now being much more aggressive in his advantage, going for crazy reads, and they're starting to pan out. I don't think Yusuf was anticipating Aaron to be quite this aggressive, but it's really starting to pay off. And now Aaron, with a very sizable lead of, well, previously, I think, 32%, and oh, 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 we need to take this. But, yeah, I guess, yeah, you, you need to be taking in these kinds of situations. But it doesn't matter. It's not out of uh, the cards just yet for a comeback, because we can see that expert move will come back. Unfortunately, yeah, Nikita Armour not gonna work. Oh, that is not ideal. Yeah, I think things are just starting to go awry for Aaron. Oh, oh, oh! I was about to say. Oh, oh, oh. oh man, yeah, that would have been terrible. I think, honestly, I don't think Aaron made any particularly like grievous mistakes in this like particular match. It was just a lot of bad luck. I mean. Getting the Nikita, not getting the sweet spot so he's gonna connect, and then getting his barrels busted. Just an unlucky situation all in all, but yeah, with a lead like this, and with the walls that Yusuf can set up, the impenetrable defense, I think it's going to be very difficult, borderline impossible for a comeback, especially with a character like Diddy that, again, it's not really known for comebacks, but also trades and, ex and an explosive advantage state. Despite that, I just don't see him coming back because Yusuf again has strong reads and he knows now that Aaron is going to be playing far more aggressive and is going to be looking for those intensive reads. So he's going to be standing still, waiting for Aaron to make those approaches, make those reads. And yeah, I just, I don't see a comeback in the works, but at the very least, I don't believe that this is a winner. So who knows? Maybe Aaron will make a comeback in losers. And that's going to be 3-0 to Yusuf to a T. But still, a